What's going on guys, Ekashinx here, and I'm back to start bringing you a tutorial on how to create and edit your own resource pack for the new 1.6 Minecraft update. And as most of you guys may know, Minecraft with the new update changed a lot of things in game and outside of the game. Mainly the resource packs and how you edit them. So basically this is what I'm going to be teaching you how to edit your own resource packs like I currently did with here. And you can see... I just changed the hearts from red to blue right there and I'm gonna be teaching you kind of along the same lines but instead of changing the hearts from blue we're just gonna go ahead and edit something really stupid like the stone blocks to something really stupid uh, so anyway uh, let's begin and the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and download the default resource pack from the description link will be in the description obviously so this is basically uh, a resource pack that has everything with the default textures here as you see uh, the TNT is the same the redstone dust is <laughs> invisible the glasses you can kinda see it there it's all the default stuff and this basically allows us to edit it um, to our fullest content and so props to the dude who made this it makes it a lot easier for us to go ahead and access the textures for us to edit them so we're just going to put that to the side for now, uh, we'll be needing it shortly. So now you want to go ahead and go to your resource packs folder. Now there's two ways to do this, uh, I'm going to be doing the easy way and that's just going to Minecraft, go to options, resource packs, open resource packs folder. And voila, here we are. So now this is where it gets a little bit complicated and this is where people get um, confused. So we're going to go ahead and make our resource pack name and since we're going to be creative here awesome resource test there you go awesome resource test so basically uh there's going to be two things that we're that's going to be going in the in the resource pack folder so we're going to make a new folder called assets and we're going to make a text document and we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste this into the text document now this will be in the description for uh, everyone to copy and paste and basically you can edit this to whatever you want uh, uh, edit this thing um, because this is the description for it uh, I'll show you here what I'm talking about as you see it says default resource pack default resource pack and I'll show you later if we edit this it'll be subscribe to X Jinx HD and we're gonna go ahead and save that we're gonna go to file save as and we're gonna go to save as type all files file type or file name we're gonna call this pack.mc meta so that's pac dot mc m e t a no spaces save make sure it's save as type all files save that go ahead and X that out and here you can see it as you see it made an MC meta file instead of a text document and you can go ahead and delete the text document Oops, there you go so now here's where it gets uh, even more complicated than that and that's trying to find the block or thing that you want to go ahead and edit so we're gonna go ahead and open up the default resource pack here and we're gonna go to assets as you saw here and we need to follow the exact directory to where the block is so I said we're gonna go ahead and change the stone block so the stone block is under minecraft textures blocks and it's somewhere over here here it is we're not gonna go ahead and get that yet so now we need to follow the same directory so we're in assets now we're gonna go ahead and make Minecraft and this is a tutorial that you really need to be looking at the video in order to follow because if you're like if you're trying to do it on your own while having this listening in the background it's kinda not gonna make sense so this is a tutorial that you really have to look at the video for so in the Minecraft folder we're gonna go ahead and go to the textures 
or name the folder textures because textures are here and then it's under blocks so we're going to go ahead and make a new folder of blocks and there you go so now since we're here we can go ahead and drag and drop the stone or whatever you want to edit picture onto our folder here uh where is it dragon egg man reeds glass fern where is it ice lever i'm probably tripping balls here oh there it is stone as you see here it's the it's the default stone texture and how we're going to edit this is i'm going to be using photoshop you can use gimp paint or whatever you want to use i'm using photoshop because i you know i like photoshop it's much more easier for me so yeah we're just going to wait for this to load up and uh i'll be right back okay so here we are and as you see here if we zoom in come on there you go here is the text uh, not the text the texture for the stone and like i said we're going to be doing something really stupid here just for example and we're going to make a um just, just uh just be creative here fuck it let's just do that all right so we edited the stone texture to that now we're going to go ahead and go to file save as we're going to save it to the desktop here and save it as a .png. This is very important. It has to be a PNG file or else it'll all mess up. So stone.png, save, okay. Go X this out. Um, press no because you don't really need that anymore. So we can go also go ahead and X out the default resource pack .zip because you don't need that anymore. And where is it? Here it is. Here is our new stone texture that we just recently made. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and drag and drop that onto this folder here move and replace and voila we now have our edited stone texture so let's go ahead and let's just load up my testing world here oh shit well that was unfortunate and oops game mode one see stone oh right see stone is the normal thing here and as you see we need to change the resource pack subscribe to extra CG, which you really should and voila now your stone looks like whatever you edited it and yeah so that's basically it guys it's really simple uh, if you know what you're doing and like I said while I was doing the video this is a tutorial that you really have to be looking at the screen in order to make sense of it um, because it can get confusing at some times if you don't know what you're doing so I recommend you watch the video and then go ahead and and then go ahead and do it yourself and not do it yourself while watching the video uh, so yeah because it gets a little bit complicated that way so anyway guys, I'd like to thank you for watching. Xing's here, sending out. Peace out. Oh, oh yeah, before I go, also anything related to that stone texture, like what else is related to the stone texture? Like that pressure plate there. Um stone. Uh I think stone slabs also get it, maybe. No, they don't. Uh well whatever. Anything related to this this texture changes also, as you see from here. So yeah, that's it. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Actions here, sending out. Peace out.